Hi, this is Jeff with the INTJ Equation, and today I'll talk to you about uh, TE, extroverted thinking, kind of what it is, how it manifests uh, in INTJs as TE, father, mother, parent, whatever you want to call it, um, the good things about it, the bad things about it, and so on and so forth. But before I get into the content, please like, share, subscribe, I'll leave a comment below, add my Discord, uh, my social media. So TE is uh, kind of faster paced than uh, introverted thinking. TE kind of scrub through data a lot quicker, but it's not as accurate or not as thoughtful, I guess you could say, as TI. It's more reliant on data rather than kind of like original thought. That's kind of like one thing as an INTJ uh, growing up and everything. I just kind of really felt stupid with my TI cynics because I couldn't uh, really come up with my own ideas, but... TE users, they rely more on like data, studies, uh, things that have been sought out empirically. It come from books, articles, uh, YouTube videos, videos, wherever. Other people, especially TI users, uh, this could be a good and bad thing, which we'll get into later. TE is also very uh, action-oriented, very goal-oriented. Like NI kind of envisions the goal, kind of gets us... Uh, like what we want to see and where we want to be in 5, 10, 20 years, whatever it may be. But TE probably arguably is one of the most uh, active in getting us toward those goals. We kind of research, we find a way. As I was saying, it's very goal-oriented. It's very progress-oriented, get from here to there. Not all people are movement with TE, but it's kind of uh, a good enough solution, and it's more action-oriented to TI, where TI users would rather get all of the data and be comfortable before making a decision where TE users are more likely to rush. There are pros and cons of this. It's very important that you need to uh, verify before we go ahead. And because uh, sometimes we can be wrong and we can kind of get hung up on, uh, well, this study said this or this book said that or this person said that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true because it's been studied. A lot of studies are flawed. Uh, they're performed by people and people were flawed by nature. So... It's not always a perfect situation. So what are some good things about uh, extroverted thinking, TE? Like I said, it's more organized. Uh, it kind of helps keep TI users organized. Their thoughts can be kind of scrambly and kind of inside their heads, but we kind of extrovert them to the world. Hence, you know, TE, extroverted thinking. Um, kind of got some examples here of a TE book written by Tim Ferriss, who I believe is an INTJ. Might be kind of hard to see. Hopefully this works. Well, you can kind of see that's very organized, categorized, nice and neat, kind of varies by person. See, that's what uh, apparently Triple H said, the pro wrestler. And this is a demonstration of TI. This is probably a little bit more organized than uh, most, but this is a uh, Aeon by Carl Jung, which talks about the different sides of the mind, mostly the anima and the animus, uh, the self. First five chapters, here's a chapter five. This is where it starts going off on a Jesus tangent. This is all about the Pisces symbol that Jesus drew in the sand. And it's just very wordy, not to the point. So it's very goal oriented. It keeps uh, ourselves on task. It can keep other people on task, especially in the case of an ENTJ or e and ESTJ. They're very more about keeping others on task to get things uh, done. That's one good thing about uh, extroverted thinking. It, uh, they like to teach. They like to kind of uh, demonstrate things where TI uses They kind of keep the thoughts internally. We extrovert it. In some cases, most cases, it can be more open-minded than TI because TI is kind of like their last perceived knowledge of what they read. Like I see a lot of people like, oh, this is what... Carl Jung didn't say this about the functions, or Isabel Myers didn't say this, that about the functions, so it must not be true. I mean, you know, there's extrapolation, uh, people study this further, they theorize further, and they progress it further like any other uh, discipline, any other science, like, you know, we're not still going off Newton's uh, physics books, I mean, we definitely still keep some of his basic principles and all that, I'm not a physics uh, expert by any means, but... You know, there's been discoveries, and we keep uh, pushing for discoveries. So, kind of is more open-minded. Um, they'll bring new data to TI users who are kind of stuck. So, what are some of the bad things about uh, TE users? We can not really verify things. 
we can be over relying on studies and data like i said they're flawed uh you know like we're still going off uh jung not to disrespect jung or anything like that uh you know we'd probably still be kind of in trouble i think you know we're still going off these old ideas like psychological types is written like 1923 or something like that that's going on 100 years so i'm sure he would want it to progress and change and evolve and kind of is and it kind of isn't it's kind of underground i think the mbti is something that came out in the 60s and it's just a test and it's kind of vague and but that's what people know it as, so it's a good starting point, and it's very organized with their lettering system. Uh, they can be too direct. TE users, it's probably the pushiest of the functions. Uh, it can be very aggressive in your face, like ESTJs, ENTJs. They will kind of use people, kind of treat them as a number to kind of, an ENTJ to do it will get what they want, and ESTJ will do it to kind of get what the organization or whatever they're working through wants, what their boss wants, what their any child where an ENTJ would like to use it as what they want to get with their NI. So they'll kind of direct and micromanage people, and that could be a very, very horrible, annoying aspect uh, for everybody. Kind of makes a hostile work environment. INTJs can kind of be this way, but not as bad. We're perfectionists in a way, uh, but we don't really boss people around as much. We definitely are guilty of doing it, but you know we kind of keep to ourselves more. Often don't step up to supervisor roles as often because we just don't want to deal with the people. Another uh, aspect of TE, the bad aspect, is that we can be over-reliant and not fact-check things. We can kind of just uh, read off this recent study about this. We think it's a fact, but, you know, it might not be true. So we kind of need to dig a little deeper and make sure that things are right before we make a decision. And that could be too hasty and you know, cause damage or spread ignorance or whatever the case may be it could also be uh over reliant on credentials uh titles degrees certificates experts you know experts quote unquote like i disagree with a lot of doctors especially like psychiatrists and psychiatric nurse practitioners about medication and stuff i because like about 50 percent of studies they do show that antidepressants are no more effective than a placebo but that doesn't go with big pharma's agenda so, you know, that isn't very well known. I mean, you can go to school and school is valuable for a lot of things, but school, they teach you what they want you to know, not necessarily what you want to know, what you need to know. So TE is the father-mother function, as John Beebe would put it, the father-mother archetype that Jung came up with that's prevalent in stories and mythology since the beginning of time. Uh, to simplify it, because depending on gender, you could just say parent. Um, the parent function is the TE parent is for INTJs, ISTJs, and it's kind of about how you're responsible with, uh, you know, outside thinking and how you construct your thoughts to be presented in the outside world. Uh, this is usually one of the last things to develop, uh, kind of, I really didn't really start developing it in my thirties. I mean, I've used it to get through school, of course, it's prevalent since kindergarten, it's there. I mean, I, school was pretty easy for me college was definitely more of a challenge but yeah i mean it's there but is it really going to help you mature and evolve as a person i think that's the argument that it's getting at so now i'm just really trying to figure out you know what i want to do with my life even though you know it's half over now uh and kind of get things launched and started for me te is kind of subservient to ni I mean, TE is about planning and goals. NI sees the final objective, like the final goal. Has no clue how it's going to get there. It relies on the other functions to get where it wants to that goal. And TE is probably the main gateway to reach it. We research, we find ways, we figure things out how to get there. And we kind of extrovert it into the world with TE and SE. Uh, SE, you know, we kind of have to physically do the things that we need to do. Like, I guess, me making this video. TE, uh, one of the things that we need to look out for is uh, really the TI cynics. Like I said before, that we're very guilty of this. We're triple movement. We haul ass with everything. Uh, we can look at what we perceive as a fact, something written in a book or a study or somebody said so, and we can kind of get the idea that's correct without checking just so we can get to the next step. So with our TI cynics, we need to check, make sure that we're right before we move, before we, you know, cause an error, spread ignorance, uh, are just flat out wrong, which is kind of something that we grit our teeth with. Uh, kind of, uh, it's shadowed by T.I. Cynics, and T.I. Cynics, we kind of think that we're dumb. I mean, I grew up thinking, 
like, man, I can't come up with my own original idea, my own grand scheme of things, like as for like an INTP or ISTP would with their TI hero. TE is not really like original thought. It's kind of like the logic of others. It's like a hummingbird going around from flower to flower, uh, you know, sucking the nectar out to do its thing. So TE is kind of like that. We just take little things and uh, add on, take little things from this piece, this little piece, this piece, and we kind of form our own system with it. So it's very uh, organized. It's very kind of still other people's ideas, basically, but we kind of make them our own in our own unique way. And we could also just flat out take people's ideas and take people's uh, stuff as well, which is not good. So as an INTJ or really any TE user, everybody, even TI users should read. Reading is a good way, nonfiction of developing your TE, asking questions. You know, we need to kind of get out of our own bubble and ask questions. We ask some of the most unique, innovative questions there are, I think. I always get complimented on my question asking, I guess, and been told I should interview people even when I was young. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of keeps us inquisitive. It kind of keeps us on our toes, I think, you know, kind of double checking ourselves to make sure that we're correct. So, you know, there's good and bad to it, like everything else with every function and every type. Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time. I hope you like it and you consider subscribing. Uh, like this video to help with the algorithm to get it out there so more people can see it. Share it on social media. Add me on social media, INTJ, all around. We have a Discord server where we talk about uh, some pretty crazy aspects, uh, some pretty crazy topics. So, yeah, that's all down in the description. Thank you for going beyond the clickbait.